Hello and welcome to Ginger Engineering. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to put together a robotics engineering notebook. A robotics engineering notebook is a notebook where you keep track of your ideas, changes, and explanations about your robot. It is very important that you keep a well-developed notebook. This is so that when others view your notebook, they can understand how your robot came to be. Keep in mind there's no absolute way to make a robotics engineering notebook, so be as creative as you want. But here are some guidelines to follow and some processes that I use. To get started on your notebook, you're going to either need a graphing composition notebook or a robotics engineering notebook. You can get the Robotics Engineering Notebooks off the VEX Products website, or you can get a Graphing Composition Notebook from just about any office supply store. You're also going to need a glue stick or tape, a black pen, scissors, and a highlighter. I prefer yellow. You're also going to need a camera or a phone that takes pictures, access to a computer and a printer. When starting an engineering notebook, we want to take the front cover and at the first line write engineering notebook. Next you're going to want to write your team number and your team name. Beyond that, you can decorate the front cover however you want because again you can be as creative as you want but try to keep it as professional as possible. I like to always take a Fix Robotics sticker. You get these when registering for your teams and I place one right at the top. The next thing we're going to do is open up the engineering notebook and the first three to four pages are going to be table of contents. You're going to start by drawing a line across the top and you're going to need three columns. The first one being for the page number, the next column being larger for the project title, and the last column being what's left for the date. Date, page number, and project and do that for the next few pages. Now that you're ready to, to make your first real project page, you're going to start by titling it and dating it. Since I'm working on my scissor lift as an example, I wrote down scissor lift. Next you're going to want to either print out and paste in or tape in a picture of what you did or you can even draw a picture of what you did. Or you can do both. It's all up to you. Next, you're going to add a description of what you did that day or what you plan to do if this is just an idea page. So if it's just an idea, you're going to start out with, this is the template that I wrote out. You're going to start with, while working on the robot, I thought of incorporating or changing blank. That's where you write which part of the robot you want to incorporate or change to. Then you write what you're changing the robot to. So the new idea that you have. Then you write why? So, because the part of the robot that you're changing is doing the action that it's doing, and then explain if it's doing it inefficiently or well, usually it's inefficiently if you're wanting to change it, and then write, but the new idea that you have for the robot can potentially make the action that it's supposed to do more efficient. Next, you write down the materials you'll be using and the procedure you plan to take. If you changed or added something to the robot, you'll write down Today, our team worked on, and then describe what you did that day, and then write, we changed or added, and then write down what you changed or added to the robot because, and then explain why you added that or changed the robot, and explain how it's better than the previous design. Then you'll write down the materials you used and the procedure you took. Now that we have the final information on our page, we are gonna take a highlighter and highlight keywords that stand out when somebody, like a judge, is viewing your notebook and they don't want to read through everything. They can just um, see the highlighted words and understand what's on the page. And then you're going to initial your page. 
That's it for a robotics engineering notebook.